Do you guys, any of you watch any of the other shows on Bravo, any yeah. other cities? I, I just think Beverly Hills, man. I'm oh, all over wow. that. That's okay. great. Yeah, I'm in on that Kathy Hilton stuff too. I mean, it's great. Yeah. Well, I'm curious where you stand then. What's your opinion on it? I, I see both sides of it. Honestly, I feel bad for Rinna. I, I do, and I know that's not a popular vote. I know, and I, listen, I'm not trying to sick myself. I don't. I do not. Only because the one, the, the conversation, I thought it was really nice that Kathy owned all that stuff with her sister, I thought with Kyle. And I was like, wow, that was a great moment. And then you, I just put it in the perspective of then Rinna comes in, but Rinna didn't get to see that moment. So she doesn't know that Kathy just owned all this stuff, right? It kind of made me feel like when Bronwyn was in my face and like provoking me about the drinking and all that, and then for one episode, you know, everybody was like, you're so mean, she's an alcoholic. And I was like, I didn't know she was an alcoholic, you know? So it's kind of like that. I think Renna knows what she's doing. Well, she's good at it. <laughs> Dubrow, what are your thoughts? And you know, I, I'm, I'm so curious because both you and Lisa Rinna obviously have acting backgrounds and you both know they're both two different worlds, acting and reality, so where do you stand on all this? So I haven't seen it, to be honest, but you know, Rinna and I have known each other for 30 years. We were in acting class together years ago. I know a lot of the girls on Beverly Hills for a long time. Um, Look, you know, there's, uh, there's many layers to this whole thing. And although I don't know the specific drama that's going on, at the end of the day, we're all wives, mothers, partners, friends, and we're doing the best we can. And sometimes you just don't see every moment. For every 30 hours we film, 20 minutes makes it to the air. And I, I, I submit that you could film someone for a year and and cut a, 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 an edit together that shows all your wonderful moments and makes you look like a hero. And you could cut together all your terrible moments and make you look like a douche. That's and, what they did for Rinna, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and the truth is, we're kind of all a little bit of all of it, so let's yeah. just give each other a break. I would agree wow. with that, yeah. But I also, I also want to say, like, her mom passed away during yeah. filming. It's a lot. Yeah. And you got to give her some grace for that. Yeah, yeah absolutely. And I've only ever known her to be an amazing That's gotta person. That's got to be so difficult. Yeah. Now, would any of you want to be on another city? And if, what city would it be? Hell yeah. Okay, well, I was going to say, my favorite Bravo show is Below Deck. Oh! And Heather, Heather will say, why? Why do I like Below Because Deck? you grew up on boats! <laughs> yes, yes! She did grow up on boats. Oh my yeah. God, I love that. to cross over, be the first housewife to cross from one city to another. I am in love with all of these women and it has been such a blessing. And Orange County is my home. My parents have lived there since I graduated high school. So I just feel like I'm home and now I have all these great relationships and we're having a good time. Wow. That was really convincing. I'm really, you guys are all really good. I'm. Trying to find the beef. Is anyone getting any beef? I, I, they're very good at hiding. I didn't have that good a time, just full disclosure. <laughs> but I do like Taylor. <laughs> okay. We're working on it. <laughs> Constantly. Wow, that's amazing. So did you know any of these ladies before you joined the cast? Yes. Who um, did you know? Shannon and I had met a couple times. I know Tamara. And then Heather and I know each other socially. So Emily and Gina are to newbies to me. Oh, that's nice. And, but Gina and I live together on a trip, so we yeah. got to know each other pretty quickly. Bumped up. <laughs> yeah, it's a good time. Did any of your old Beverly Hills housewives congratulate you on uh, being on OC? Um, definitely Kyle. But I think that's probably it. That's it? Yeah. <laughs> They're oh. very busy. All right. That's good. That's interesting. Um, <laughs> And you and Tamara obviously were on Ultimate Girls Trip together, which was amazing. Did, did you, um, do you think if Tamara wasn't doing the show this season, you would still want to do it? Uh, yeah, for sure. I really wanted to um, 
let the viewers see what life after looks like, after mm -hmm. the history that I had on Beverly Hills, to see that my life has evolved so much and how you grow stronger through everything that you've gone through. Shannon, your ex, David, oh God. Um, recently filed for divorce after two years of marriage, <clears throat> only to have his wife, Leslie, say that she is filing for divorce. Sounds like a Jeopardy question. Anyway, what do you make of all this drama? I think they're back together. She filed for divorce. No, she didn't. I don't think she did. <clears throat> she just posted a video of his arm out to dinner, and he slowly rolled his wrist to show a wedding band. Stop Who it. Who lives their lives on social media? I mean, come on. <laughs> Touche. Me and Chrissy Teigen. <laughs> What's your communication like with him now? The zero, still. Oh my God, what, whatever. Um, we have all loved you, watching you become a businesswoman. Real for real cuisine. Um, and taking your life back and, and, and the, your journey, it's just been absolutely amazing. So how is it going for you? It's, it's going great. Yeah. And I'm in a really good place. And mm -hmm. I think that the cast sees that as well. <clears throat> I'm yeah. just a little bit more calmer, if you can believe it. <laughs> She's calmer, if you can believe it. <laughs> I'm going to be her interpreter. Yes. Yeah. I don't know if I, if I believe that. I don't that. know. If I, believe, I don't know. <laughs> it's I what she, she said. Thank you. How many, I mean, you said, well, you guys all said she had a meltdown this season. Anyone else have any great meltdowns this season? I mean, I always have at least one. You did? Yeah. Some of us are emotional. <laughs> I'm a little emotional. <laughs> Some of us say <laughs> you a lot. You say <laughs> you a lot. I know. I'm trying to myself. Oh, that was the royal. Yeah, ding, ding, okay. Ding. <laughs> I'm in. Hi, Tamara. I'd just like to say on behalf of the gay men in the room, thank you for bringing Eddie back to TV. <laughs> That's right. But, oh You're very like, welcome. And I, will, I will say, Eddie's very involved this season, like oh, others. I want to see another bathroom scene. Oh, what's happening? <laughs> um, let's go to over here. Hey, I'm Kendall from San Diego. So glad we have our queen back. So my question is for Tamara. What was one thing that surprised you about coming back and one, what was one thing you were most excited about coming back? Wow. I was kind of surprised how everybody was so nice to me. It was kind of like they were afraid of me when I came back. <laughs> They're afraid of you, that's why. Uh, and what was the other thing? What was one thing that you, I can't even remember, excited about coming back? I'm just. Coming back, filming, being around, I, I really miss the crew. <laughs> I really did. Like the crew and everybody I've worked with for so many years. And just go back and to go into my normal routine of filming and press and all the things that we did, I did for so many years that it was just pulled out from under my <laughs> feet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it was just fun to just come back and yeah. be part of the group again. Isn't Thank that you. nice? Yeah. She's not passed. She's not passed. I'm, I was pissed. <laughs> she was passed. Now she's psyched.